you were um, still lost the rebound battle, but it was, I think, at one time you were being that rebound 15 to 8 when you were down by 9. Yeah, so from there, yeah. I, uh, I told the players uh, in the locker room just now that we're 1 and 6 now when we get out rebound. So uh, we were rolling 6 going into the game, we get out rebound. But, I mean, you, you know, you had the number 1 and the number 2 rebounding teams going at each other. And, uh, you know, he expected to kind of be close. It could have gone either way. And, um, you know, uh, I'll tell you what, we'd rather lose the rebounding battle and, and win the game. But, you know, we pride ourselves on rebounding just like Ed Edwardsville does. And so they got us there. But, uh, uh, you know, again, I I'll take the 70 points. <clears throat> Coach, can you just talk about the defense you guys played on Raven Berry tonight? I mean, she was struggling from the field. Well, you know, she, she's a wonderful player, very, very good player on the blocks. I mean, the whole game plan was to try not to even let her catch it on the block. We were trying to throw some different people at her. And, uh, but she's just so strong and does a really good job of posting. And her teammates do a good job of uh, looking for her. So what we tried to do was just, if she caught it in there, we were just going to anchor underneath her and try to make her shoot, her so, shoot it over the top of us. I mean, I'll be honest with you, like, I thought she made everything. <laughs> I feel like she makes everything. And then I saw the stats and uh, four for 11. So, you know, uh, kudos to Sabi Orosova and uh, Mariah and uh, whoever else on our team guarded her because she's a very, very good basketball player and did a nice job on her. Mariah, you hit shots from the perimeter and got inside. You, you did hit them all over. Oh, yeah. Um we worked during practice, like me facing up to the basket, you know, trying to get around her. Because uh, me trying to battle down there with her, I don't know if I would have made it. So <laughs> facing up was the best thing for me to do in this game. And you know how it is, Brian. There's a guard in all post players. They all want to be guards. <laughs> I mean, I, if, I could get, if I could get my guards to want to be post players, we really have something. <laughs> but um, that was an emphasis this time to bring her out. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we feel like we got several players on the basketball team that can shoot three. So you know, if, you, if you give us an open look, we're going to take it. Coach, uh, 15 offensive rebounds for them and still able to get maybe 10 second chance points. So, I mean, they're getting their boards, but at the same time, you're keeping them from converting. Yeah, I mean, I think I think that's, uh, you know, you know, an offensive rebound gives you an opportunity, another opportunity. It's the same possession, uh, the way we count it, but um, so, you know, you just you got to play defense again. And, and, and I couldn't tell you right now, you know, what kind of shots they were getting off those offensive rebounds. I think one of the biggest keys, some of, those, some of their offensive rebounds were either long offensive rebounds or, you know, it was a swat and it's a loose ball and, and you know, it's a scramble for it. So you don't really have, you know, that, that offensive rebound where it just comes right off boom and you just stick it right back in the basket. So I think that was probably a big, a big key to them whenever you say they're 10 second chance. But after, you know, the – the early domination, you really you you were not rebounding the, the rest of the way. Yeah, what what uh, what was it at halftime? We were down uh, twenty four to eighteen, so we were down six at half, right? And on the boards, and we got and we lost by two, so we out rebounded them on the, in the second half. And uh, just looking here, uh, we had we had seven offensive rebounds ourselves in the second half, so and they only had six, so. You know, it's, it's a funny game. I mean, we shot the ball pretty well in the second half at 46%, so there's not going to be as many offensive rebound opportunities. Um, you know, they shot it better in the second half, so clearly there's not going to be as many offensive uh, rebound opportunities. So I think it's what you do in those possessions. I mean, it's uh, whether, you, whether it's an offensive rebound or not, I think it's what you do uh, that determines the, the outcome. Could you, Mariah, talk about time? Uh, what it was like inside and going for the boards? Oh, um, it was pretty tough down there, but you just have to keep like working hard down there, you know. That was one time I was down there, I got hit in the nose and had to come out for it. But I, I pushed through it and just kept trying to go, go to it, go to the boards. I told her that's what movies are made out of. You know, she gets a bloody nose, she steps back in there and shoots free throws, spits blood in her own hand. I mean, goodness gracious, you know. <laughs> You know, she's not one of our tougher kids. You know that. So. <laughs> I, was, I was hoping you didn't get hurt after I wrote about you not missing a practice. Uh, oh, yeah, we did talk about uh, me, me never getting hurt. And uh, just so happened I got a bloody nose this game. <laughs> and uh, the officials, I guess, just saw it after you shot one of the free throws, right? Oh, oh, he was trying to keep playing, but I was telling him I had a bloody nose. So 
I can't get him to stop. This is a nice road win. Yeah, definitely a nice road win. I mean, they're good. I mean, they're really good. And this is a hard place to play. And they do a great job. And they, they got all of them. And it, it's a good one. Back and forth game there in the second half. And, and they're able to go on that run at the end and just hold on from there. You know, they really did. Um, you, you've got to give Eastern credit. Uh, you know, late in the game, they stepped up and they made plays. I, I just told our team, I mean, it, it's a frustrating one. But we, I knew this game, and we talked about it, how it was going to go back and forth. And I thought the team that executed and focused the longest, you know, because both teams had little spans where, where we had little slip-ups. But, um, you know, it, it's, it's a minute 38, and it's a two-point game. And that's what you want. You want to you push it down to the end. And I just thought we, we didn't quite execute on some of the out-of-bounds uh, late. And that's, that's my fault. I've got to do a better job of getting us to execute on some of those out-of-bounds plays. And, whether that would have made a difference or not, I don't know, but it might have given us another opportunity to score. And this game features top two rebounding teams in the conference, and the old 40 to 38 advantage. I mean, just kind of like probably expected. I, I thought you saw a battle of the boards all night long. I thought you saw both teams, you know, just kind of, you know, going after it and, and getting as many boards as they can, and, and, and neither team let down on that on that end. Uh, you have 15 offensive rebounds, 10 second chance points. I mean, it's, a, it's more a matter of where those offensive rebounds come from? I, I think a little bit was because you'd, you'd obviously with that many offensive boards want a few more second chance baskets. Some was where the boards bounced off and, and some is our aggressiveness of just taking it right back up or kicking it out and locating our three-point shooters. And their defense on Raven today, I mean, they put everybody they could on it. I thought they did a good job. You know, uh, Raven wasn't getting clean touches down on the inside. She had to keep stepping off the block a little bit. Um, but, you know, I, Eastern, again, did a great job. They, they spread the floor very well. You know, they shared the ball. And and, and, and I thought King just, we, we didn't have an answer for King in the second half. I thought in the first half we did a really good job. In the second half, I thought she, she did a great job. And just talk about the bench today. I know some injuries have kind of forced you to go a little bit deeper. You got some players to respond today. Yeah, we really did. I, I thought Michaela stepped up. Um, you know, um, Ashley Capitosto, who I, I think is, is our energy player, she's just that workhorse type kid. Um, she's out with an ankle injury um, day to day. You know, we hope to have her back by next week. But um, that, that forced some different rotations, and I thought Michaela stepped up and, and did a really good job, especially on the boards. And, and, you know, she finished around the basket real well today as, as well. King's perimeter shots, do you live with her taking those? or? Well, I would have liked it. You know, I didn't mind. She's going to, you know, the, the threes I wasn't as, as worried about because you've got to give somewhere. Um, but, I, you know, I did feel like we, we let her kind of step out, and, and she was hitting some of those 12, 15-footers off some out-of-bounds plays that we needed to defend her a little bit better. And a lot of hers were based off, some of it was based off how we were defending ball screens as well with Nixon. But you got to give her credit because, you know, she finished, and that's, that's what you need to do on the inside. Yeah. Is that comes from you're not wanting Nixon to go all the way to the basket. Well, I mean Nixon's a, a great you know perimeter player, and and we've seen way too many times of her getting in too deep on penetration. So, you know you've got to make some choices on how we do things. We probably didn't rotate back as well as we needed to on some coverages, but. At the same time, sometimes you got to give credit to the offensive team for finding that open man and then for them to knock it down. Coach, Coco Moore struggled early in the game, and then late in the game, truly stepped up, made a lot of shots, kept you going. What, what got her going in the second half? You know, I don't, I don't know. But whatever it is, I got to find it out, and we, we've got to make sure it happens. But um, you know, I think Coco's really stepped up and played well. The, the thing that I'm doing is I'm giving her tough defensive assignments as well. Um, you know, for for a freshman. To, to be on Nixon and, and to guard her it is asking an awful lot, but I know she can do it, and I think she's done a pretty darn good job with that. Um, at, at times she gets floats a little bit, and then all of a sudden she gets a little bit more offensive-minded, and I thought what you saw is a little bit in that second half getting a little more offensive-minded.